Are you looking to learn AWS but not too sure where to start? Well, I've done the hard work for you and tried out 50 AWS courses over the past few years. Courses on YouTube, video lessons on Udemy, and even study notes made by independent course instructors. Some were great and some honestly were a complete waste of time. With so many resources out there, it's easy to waste time on the wrong ones which slows down your progress. And so in this video, I'll be sharing the best 5 AWS courses that will help you learn cloud, get certified, and gain hands-on experience. Now, if you're new here, my name is Lucy and I started learning AWS Cloud almost five years ago. I also worked as a solutions architect at AWS for two years, where I took a lot of courses in order to upskill myself and get six AWS certifications. From personal experience, there's no one single course that's perfect for everyone. Depending on your learning goals, whether it's to get AWS certified or deepen your technical knowledge, the best resource for you may vary. So for the rest of this video, make sure you listen carefully to the pros and cons I'm about to share for each course to figure out which one will be best for you. The first course I'd recommend is Stefan Marek's AWS courses on Udemy. Stefan covers every AWS certification from the AWS Cloud Practitioner to Solutions Architect, Developer Associate, SysOps, and even specialty ones like Machine Learning and Security. So for those of you planning to take multiple AWS certifications and want to stick to the same instructor, his courses are a great choice. Each course provides step-by-step -step explanations, hands-on labs, as well as practice exams to reinforce your learning. What I like is how the video lectures are very bite-sized, with each one being only around two to five minutes. You can see that his AWS Cloud Practitioner course runs for about 15 hours and covers fundamental cloud concepts and core AWS services. If you're a beginner, my advice would be to get the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification and then advance to the AWS Solutions Architect Associate. This will help you gain a strong foundational understanding of the cloud before diving a bit deeper. Speaking of diving deeper though, one limitation of Stefan's courses is that they focus a lot on getting you certified. This means that they don't always cover the real world hands-on experience needed to apply AWS concepts in a cloud job. Which brings us to the next resource I wanted to share. My next recommendation is Adrian Cantrell's AWS courses. Adrian is an independent course instructor and his content is ideal for those aiming to become cloud engineers or solutions architects because he goes really deep in his content, like really, really deep. He has hours upon hours of video lessons that are a mix of lectures, hands-on tutorials, and real-world examples. Adrian prioritizes helping you understand AWS services and how they actually work, rather than just teaching you how to pass the exam. What I like about his teaching style is that he incorporates a lot of visual explanations and architectural breakdowns, making complex AWS concepts a lot easier to understand and remember. So with his heavy focus on AWS architecture, networking, and system design, you'll learn how to design, deploy, and troubleshoot AWS solutions, which is really important for anyone looking to succeed in a cloud role. One thing to keep in mind though is that Adrian's courses are very detailed, so they do take longer to complete. If you're looking for quick certification prep, this may not be the best choice for you. But if your goal is to develop real-world cloud skills and gain deep AWS expertise, the time investment, in my opinion, is worth it. Now, if you're just starting out with AWS and looking for a structured hands-on learning path, DataCamp's Cloud Practitioner Certification Track is a fantastic option. Out of all the courses I've tried, this is the one I'd recommend the most for beginners. It's taught by expert instructors and offers a structured learning path that's very aligned to the Cloud Practitioner exam. All of the lessons are self-paced with hands-on labs and real-life scenarios to reinforce your learning. You can see here that the track starts off with a course on understanding cloud computing, followed by AWS concepts, AWS technology and services, as well as AWS security and cost management concepts. The estimated time to complete this track is around 10 hours and over 10,000 students have already enrolled. There's also an option to receive a certificate of completion as soon as you finish the track. And this badge you can add onto your LinkedIn profile or resume. Also, if you're a student, DataCamp offers 50% off their subscription, making it one of the most affordable AWS learning options. I've used the platform myself to develop some of my skills and I would highly recommend it. If you'd like to start learning with DataCamp's AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Track, I've included a link to it in the description below. Something I need to let you know is is that learning AWS isn't just about taking courses. Continuous revision and hands-on experience are the most important. It won't make sense to spend weeks learning something only to forget it weeks after. That's why I created my own set of Tech with Lucy study notes and project courses to help you reinforce your knowledge of the cloud. My study guides are aligned with AWS certifications, breaking down key concepts into concise, easy to review summaries. This makes them great for exam revision and quick refreshes whenever needed. I also have a five beginner AWS 
Projects Guidebook. This walks you through real-world AWS use cases where you'll set up services and deploy applications just like in an actual cloud role. These are end-to-end -end projects that you can add to your portfolio and resume once you complete them, helping you stand out in job applications. And for interview preparation, I have an AWS interview mastery course that provides mock interview examples, advice, and helps you understand the interview process for cloud roles. If you want access to all of my courses, I have an all-in-one bundle that gives you access to my current and future AWS courses. This means that you'll always have my up-to-date study materials, projects, and interview prep resources as you grow your cloud skills. The final AWS resource I'd like to recommend is Tutorials Dojo's practice exams. Before taking an AWS certification exam, one of the best things you can do is consolidate your knowledge through practice. And ideally, the practice should be as close to the real exam as possible. Tutorials Dojo has well-structured AWS practice exams with really detailed explanations accompanying each question. These exams are designed to mimic the actual AWS exam format with scenarios and questions to test your understanding. Unlike some of the free practice tests out there, which are outdated and inaccurate, Tutorials Dojo matches the exact difficulty of real AWS certification exams. If your goal is to pass an AWS certification on your first attempt, I'd recommend these practice exams as a way to track your progress and gain confidence. So those are my top five AWS learning courses to help you learn cloud, get certified and build hands-on experience. Aside from these, you can also check out AWS Skill Builder and Workshops.AWS along with some other free learning options in this video. Let me know in the comments what resources you're planning to use and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.